you use? <laughs> Beats. That's a good start to a, to a show. It looks like a sex toy. Oh, you know, I fully did it to win. I need to start that with it. Yeah, you do. You do. You do. You fucking pain it. Actually, this is another one. See if you can work it. Take two. Go on, say it. <laughs> Go on. Yeah, I disagree with you, but I don't think that that uh, that stamp looks like a sex toy. <laughs> I don't know what you're using, but um, that's not the size of my sex toy. <laughs> uh, Josh, 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 far out. It's been a long time uh, between drinks, but you know. Um, thanks for coming over. Um, you're one of my dearest, one of my best mates. Um, we have lived, yeah. We have we have lived together. Um, for, <laughs> yeah, lived together. You on, you on top. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> yeah. you hear me, we. <laughs> yeah, every night. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. So just just for the audience, we um. We lived, uh, I lived uh, the apartment above Josh um, for what, how many years? Five years? Know, yeah, five or six years. Five or yeah. six years, which was quite cool. Yeah. Heard me wee. Heard, heard you wee. Ha heard me have all those... Uh, stomach problems. Stomach problems <laughs> and uh, shouting matches. But yeah, we kind of yeah became good mates. Went, came to my... Um, Bucks party and yeah, the Bucks party was a classic. Classic, <laughs> probably yeah. not not for this. Not, not for this audience. <laughs> no. um, and I thought you'd come on to um, yeah, just have a taste of some of the coffee and maybe we could just hang out. Yeah, I got some pastries and um, banana bread. Lovely. So today is really all about just hanging out. Um, I wanted to um, just get a feel for your palate. Um, palette like taste palette yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, and then see if we can go pick some beans yeah um, and then um, then we go roast and then we could we can cup um, but really just today is just just hanging out I know it's super early you're probably just it's right like what time are we allowed to drink alcohol uh, at any time <laughs> at any time would you like a beer no, 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 <laughs> not yet not yet it's, it might be a little bit early what have I got uh, I actually, um, oh, have I ran out of that? I probably have. I have ran out of that um, whiskey alcoholic can drink that we've got. No, that's we've right. Had going. No, that's fine. Can I grab a water actually? Yeah. yeah. I'll get you a water. After my cycling. Yeah. Um, there's, there's something going on in Paddington. Have you, um, there is a queue. You know where the old, um, where the Verona Theatre is? Oh. So from there, going all the way round up towards um, uh, Moore Park, there's a there's a queue. Oh. Uh, thanks. Why? I don't know, but there was like thousands of people. Are you sure you don't need a coffee? Because <laughs> this is your normal persona where you're high energy and you've always been high energy. That's probably one of my best mates, but... Um, are you sure you need a coffee? I, yeah, well, I need one. I <laughs> or if we're tasting, I can only taste a bit of several. I, I, can't, I can't drink several. So you'd be, you'd be surprised with, um, we have, uh, <laughs> we have, we have a decaf. Ah, okay. Um, what could I get you? Uh, maybe a bit of banana bread. Oh, you know. Toasted? A well, toasted would be lovely. Yeah? Thank you. Yeah. Um, so I'll have it with you because I'm up, up for some banana bread myself. Um, yeah, so where were we? Um, you were talking about decaffeinated Oh yeah, coffee. decaf. So um, we've just got, I found this Peruvian coffee that is a pure decaf. Well, it's a, it's a beautiful, beautiful kind of chocolatey, you know, um, cup, but it's decaf. Yeah. I definitely um, need D, D, I, so I have one, uh, I have a double espresso yeah. um, and I have one a day. Yeah. And um, if I if I have a lunch, you know, and there's a bit of, uh, like you have a drink yeah. or something and I have to go back to the office, yeah. I'll, have a, I'll have another uh, coffee, but any more and um, I might as well take a bag of cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> so, hang on, so when it comes to decaf and have you tasted a fair amount of decaf? No. No, you haven't. 
Um, I'm relatively new to coffee. Really? Yeah, so I, not I, nothing on coffee. I, I, I've, I've only started drinking coffee since uh, probably 2015. Yeah, right. And uh, and I did that because a work trip. I was in France and I had to. Yeah. Um, the, we were on a workshop and it was working from like being up at seven and literally finishing just, yeah. at like three in the morning and having just with jet lag. Yeah. Um, they they didn't give me any other paraphernalia to keep me awake, <laughs> so I started drinking coffee. I thought and shots of coffee didn't drink coffee before then didn't drink coffee before it. Sh- lot, shots of coffee with lots of sugar in it and yeah. then i realized you love it well some of i realized why i didn't like it what? because there's a lot of bad coffee yeah and and then when i had a nice coffee i was like oh yeah. actually i could like this and interesting um because that that's really cool because i i mean this peruvian coffee is a specialty coffee it's like when you grade coffee out of um, they go when you grade coffee it's not just okay this is a good coffee it's also a lot to do with the ripeness um, the grading the size the unit uni- uniformity of the coffee all that sort of stuff when they pick it and then when they obviously send it to us to roast it's all like the same because then when it goes in the drum when it rolls around the yeah. drum the same size so it um, attracts the same temperature in the drum anyway I'm getting technical but the uniform- did, I, did I fall asleep straight away then? The, the, uni- <laughs> the uniformity is really, yeah. really important, right? So um, this particular grade of coffee is really, really high based on taste, grade, um, size and, and stuff. Um, again, specialty and as a decaf. So yeah, the ta- like you wouldn't even notice. Um, a friend of mine came on um, last week on the show and I, and I played a sort of trick with him and I'm like, t- tell me which one tastes different. And he's like, couldn't tell the difference. But he couldn't take, so I think I would be able to t- taste the difference in if I had a full coffee in what it does to me. So the, the right. caffeine, right. like, I'd properly feel, yeah. um, like, pumped up. Uh, so when, so obviously um, you can't metabolize caffeine as quickly as nor- normal people, as, as <laughs> everyone else. Everyone yeah. metabolizes okay. coffee differently, right? So I love a really good double shot in the morning to get me going. But there's sometimes where I just don't have coffee at all. And then I use use the decaf to, to for the taste because you know, donuts, banana, yeah, yeah. coffee, it all kind of comes together. Yeah. And uh, you know, that's interesting. Like, um, because yeah, that's why I don't drink too much um, coffee, yeah. but, uh, but then, and that's why though in the, like I, I quickly think became fairly um, specific on what I liked yeah. because obviously if you're only having one a day and you have a shit one it's yeah. kind of and it's the one that you want to get you going so I cycle yeah. to work I've done say 20 25k getting to work yeah I'm a bit bit tired I, I want some food and a, and a coffee and I don't want it to be bad yeah and then when you get a bad one and the ones I hate is when you can even get good beans and then the barista just puts in too much water uh, and it's like a kind of it's like a dirty uh, you know it's, it's just I, I, it needs to be creamy. It needs to be um, and uh, creamy, not from the interesting. The milk. So, um, okay. So you like a double shot espresso or yeah. an espresso? A, a double shot espresso. Yeah. Espresso. Espresso. Yeah. There's no X in espresso, mate. That I wasn't saying. It's, <laughs> you're, it's just my accent. Don't touch the thing. <laughs> what, what, what there's are you no doing? double. There's no X in espresso, Josh. <laughs> Smell that. <laughs> Yeah. What do you think of that? What, what's the end note of that? It's a nutty. Um. Sorry. It's, it's like a hazelnutty. Um. Yeah. T- t- so if I said closer to wine, what oh, flavour wine would you? Ah, uh, I, I wouldn't be able to compare this to a wine. Um, no? So... Um, that particular vari- v- varietal, um, it's an Ethiopian from, it's an, it's an all natural, organic. Um, smells nice. From Herrera, it's all organic and natural. Um, and it's quite funky as a bean. It's, got, it's quite oily because I've slightly yeah. over roasted it. But the reason for that is um, because it brings out the the funkiness of this Grenache and so if I was to make it 
on um, a double. Also, it's extremely strong as a coffee. But if I double gave you a double shot of that, it would take you to space. Like it would blow your socks. Oh, off. really? Yeah. Yeah. So in terms of like in terms of like strength, like so taste, is there different uh, caffeine levels in the, in yeah. the beans then? Yeah. Like, when specialty coffee, it's really all about taste and strength. So the caffeine is almost like the ABV of a bottle of wine. Yeah, yeah. pretty much. Yeah, absolutely. Do, um, they, do they put that? They, they don't. They don't put that on the on the bags. No, no actually, okay. yeah, good point. They definitely don't. They don't, don't put the strength on, and nobody knows that different coffees have different strengths. And so, because cafes don't aren't entirely supporting specialty coffee and. and when I say that, I mean, it's impossible for them to have six or seven different specialties and then dialing those in, having every group head, every grinder, every puck yeah. press, because every single coffee has a, its own recipe. So like a really um, a flowing, like a massive cafe, they would never be able to manage like six or seven different specialties. Yeah, yeah. So, um, but they do in Asia, though, don't they? They're, there's places there. Well, yeah, uh, our, our, you know, our, our culture in Australia sucks because we we're all about soy lattes and whatever. Like, <laughs> yeah, there's a lot more to coffee than you know meets the eye. <laughs> With warm water, not hot water, yeah, that exactly. always makes me laugh. Exactly. <laughs> Someone comes what? in and they they ask the the water temperature. I'm like, well, fair enough if you want to boil it hot, but like otherwise let it cool down and yeah. you can just take your time. Hey mate, um, there's that. Cheers. Grab that. Um, so, what do you think of that one? So, I don't get the Grenache um, comparison. No. No, like, I don't like. So, um, what do you? What is it? What does it smell like? Because well, it oh. it's not. It hasn't got any sweetness, like a, um, oh. or not the same sort of sweetness as a wine. So that's why I'm struggling to get the com the comparison. But if you like, explain why you think. Hmm. Go on. It's really um. It's really important that what, what what's become very evident as, as I do these roast alongs with different types of people, it's really hard to explain a palate because you're like, what is it that I'm tasting? Yeah, and everyone's got different tastes and that's a... Yeah. yeah, exactly. So then when you start thinking about, you know, what does honey taste like? What does honey in a coffee taste like? What does... Um, like it's all, it's all, I guess, relative. So that one there to me, so the, the way I make it on a, in a V60 um, versus an espresso is a very different taste. In a V60, V60 pour over, it's really plummy. It's got those stone fruit. It's, it's like, a, 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 when I connotate it to a Grenache, it's like really thick type of um, coffee that's, that, that, has a lot of complexity there's another one that um i've got which is um quite a smooth double shot so for an espresso application it would be a beautiful beautiful double shot into the black body from um, ethiopia Egechef. i think that's more suited to you because it brings out a lot more flavor and, and it's quite smooth where this is you just go oh my god this is funky but i'd like to make you both so that you understand which you prefer and then we can sort of move into more i don't know move, move into more yeah. like fruit forward which is um coffees that actually have a lot of um acidity and um have fruit also quite strong i, I find it interesting because it'll be because obviously when i've tasted coffee like so but you know i work for a company that sells booze and, and, and we have wine tastings mm. and we have all the wine supplies in mm. and when you're tasting the wines and you're going through it con constantly and you've always been told you know the, this is these are the tastes this mm. is you know the acidity this is the dryness um you know you get used to it and you can pick up on it but when you drink coffee like not many people do that so you know they drink coffee in the morning so they're not going mm, what flavors do i get which you know it, it is something that obviously is there but if you don't if you don't know, you don't don't do it. Let me one sec. Well, let me get another another coffee for you. Stay there. Right. So I roasted this on the twenty sixth. Um, it's degassed, probably 
it's day guys. It's the black belt. Um, it's quite a. It's quite a. Hang on, I'll I'll do it properly. Um, it's quite a beautiful bean. Um, oh yeah, smell that now. I'll grab that. No, the colours can look like. So you've not roasted this as much then. Is that why the colours are lighter? Well, no, no, it's just a different bean. Different. Oh, and it changes. Different, different. Changes that because it. Say that again. It changes. Um, no, the shape's all the same, but they, I, I thought it was just. Oh no, yeah, it's completely different. Yeah. Completely different bean. So Ethiopia, but this one's Yegachev. Yegachev is the origin of coffee forever. Yegachev is super complex as a, as, a, as a coffee, but that is that is a lot smoother and cleaner versus something that's super funky, which is like that. Yeah, like now I compare it. Like, yeah, there's a yeah. This is a lot. Th th it's not as strong a. Um, beautiful espresso, beautiful pour over. These are very, like, I would never put that on an espresso, but I've been playing around with it recently and it, and there's this kind of ashy, like, aftertaste where you just go, what's that? Because it's quite natural and funky and that is just a beautiful espresso. So I think I'll do that and then I'll show you if you okay. like this one. Yeah. Like that? And when you say pour over, you mean just uh, with a milk or something like that? No, or, 360, right? one of these. Ah, yeah, I've got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, goes on to like, goes on to like this thing. Yeah. And this is what we're going to be doing with our cans, canning. So we're going to pour over the coffee, and we're going to go straight to the canning machine. And then while it's hot, it's going to obviously. So what's cold filtered then? Because I thought the cans were going to be cold filtered, but then no. Like... So um, let me get this going um, so that I can get you caffeinated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you sure? <laughs> <laughs> well, sure. Um, grab some more if you want. Oh, um, no, I'm fine. I'm good at the moment, thanks. Um, so, I'm just going to dose this. So I'm just going to check. So every single coffee has, a, has its own recipe. Grind profile, weight, um, machine temperature. Um, and then to be able to make the recipe, there's a certain amount that you put in for it to come out. So I can't always remember all the yeah all the recipes. So I write them down. Your, and you can read your writing. Yeah, that, well, yeah. <laughs> that's part. That's that's the first thing I can do. Right well, if any, anyone stole your recipes ever, they're, they're, no, they're, they're wouldn't be a problem. Not really. <laughs> like, pfft. see, like that one there worked really really well it's a 10 to 7 days this is now 10 um, so one thing you probably don't also understand and people, most people don't understand coffee goes off in approximately 3 weeks 3 to 4 weeks the cycle of coffee is from roast goes up and then it comes back down meaning it gets a really good taste like it de degasses decarbonizes and then that's where you should be tasting it. And then from there on, it just goes stale. So most coffee that we taste in like supermarkets or Coles or cafes are stale because they've been sitting on yeah. a shelf for longer than three weeks. Like, I mean, I keep harping on about this, but it's impossible for a roaster to, you know, ship 100,000 kilos of coffee a week. Like yeah, our, yeah. our, you know, our fulfillment process sucks balls, right? In yeah. Australia. So how do you get, you know, made to order fresh coffee out the door really yeah. quickly. And so I guess that's our point of difference. Well, I guess that's why, in the, you know, it's so localized in a lot of um, places, that. you know, you've got obviously the Melbourne coffee scene and the the, the companies are not the same as this yep. because like... Tell me what it's smell there. Oh, like this. I, I can recognize the smell by... I know, um, you'll, you'll be able to taste it. It's quite nice. It's smooth, isn't it? Yeah, it's like I don't know if it's chocolatey or if it's a. Uh, it's, it's not chocolate. It's a, but there's a. Well, yeah. you tell me what it is, because otherwise. Well, it's I'm, blueberries. No. Yeah, right at the end. Like, have you smelt blueberries? You've tasted them. Yeah, I've you're, tasted you're them. You're connotating taste. You, you need to. Smell. You need to give me the fruit as well, and then I can taste. <laughs> Actually, it. Actually, good idea. Yeah. But I mean, again, everyone's palate's different. But what do you think of that? 
Yeah, so this this one, like actually, Hang on. give it to me. So I'll give you another one, but I'm just I'm just dosing that so that so this grind is a ten. So the recipe for the butt body black is um, twenty grams in, and then um, to do a, a a double shot espresso, it's a it's forty grams out. So I'm running out of this guy. So they get so you put twenty grams in. Twenty grams of coffee in. So it's all about um, proportion, recipe, brew time, um, and heat that's going through the group head. So that is what specialty coffee is. It's just so variable, and you get to this perfect recipe to be able to pour a really, really good but coffee, which generally cafes that are mass producing coffee cafes um you know their stuff needs to be tested all the time and to be able to have like four minimum coffees like no way because that, that then like because if it, it, that is very specialist and you'd obviously have to have a skill with that so then they're, they're kind of staffing that you would need to manage correct that. and then the um, the number of stuffs because so if you're grinding coffee beans like you'd need you can't have the same different coffee beans going in that same correct way. so that's why so. i've dosed it so whatever i've had before i've just dosed it with yeah. this bean once and then now what's come out is pure this coffee and then when you said 20 grams in i still don't understand this 20, uh, 20 40 grams. grams it out so but you're just saying you it's a double you put 20 no so when it comes out of here there's going to be 40 grams Got of yeah. water out of the okay yeah yeah yeah, up yeah. in about 23 seconds is okay. the profile for this coffee. Yeah. So, yeah. Now smell that. S smells the same. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It should smell the same. Okay. I was like, is should, that a trick should question? Totally, no, no, it should smell the same. But that, that now is, a, I'll, I'll get this guy ready. So again, it's all about heat um, into the group head. So that's sitting on 90 degrees. Sounds I'm gonna like drop, a bike almost. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I'm gonna drop it down to about 98 degrees. And this will now be ready to, it should drop, it'll be ready to for this espresso. Um, and do different machines provide different, like, you know, yeah, it's the same yeah, as yeah, like, yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So, you know, I went and hung out with the guys at Lomazoka three weeks ago, then two weeks ago. They've got a machine where um, the tech is so hardcore. Like, they've got, so I use a, a scale um, for... To be able to um, to be able to measure how much is coming out. Ah, right? okay. So they've got a machine that's fully integrated um, into the coffee machine. So essentially, yeah, yeah. they've got scales. There's um, the tech that actually understands how much water is coming out at what temperature, as well as measuring when to stop it for oh, a wow. particular recipe. Yeah. So like. When you get there, like so, the, you, you put it, you input the details yeah. that you want. Yeah. So even just like you know that you want forty grams out, so it slows down the brew process, like the two grams before you get to forty. Wow. Like that sort of shit, and I was just like blown away. And and they sell these machines to um, to like, cafes. Oh, to cafes. But so, the, but so cafes, cafes don't use them. But but what about? Well, that's my was going to be my point. Is it is it like private, you know, enthusiasts that would? Uh, no, go to they've just got day? like four group heads, and they just use one, four group heads. For oh, so they have them. They have the equipment. They yeah, just don't use the don't, equipment. Yeah, because it's just not entirely uh, um, right. feasible to have that many type of coffees in a cafe um, that are specialty. Yeah, because they've got different recipes, and they get them from the one coffee provider as well. Well, yeah, I guess, and you know, it's really a lot to do with how it's... much coffee can you buy as well. Like some coffees, you know, some coffees are really expensive. So to be able to, and so this is one, one of the other things I've always wanted to debunk. I know the whole coffee business is broken, but the deal is, is that, you know, to get someone paying a $4.50 coffee when you're buying, like some of the coffees, like all these coffees are like, you know, $28 for 150 grams, which means they're all like start from about six to $7 a cup. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So like, how, how do you, um, how do you, how do you, how do you make money in a cafe when, yeah. you, you know? And, and when you, you're then got to pay, um, 
you know, uh, uh, someone specifically to do this. Yeah. Um, so we're talking about fine dining and coffee here, right? Yeah. 